Observational drones are used widely in Arizona, and we could start seeing more of them if the state wins the right to become a national test site. But privacy concerns have brought the search to a halt. Bram Resnick has the story for us new tonight, Bram. Mark, the government is looking for six sites to test whether drones can fly alongside commercial aircraft in our skies. The decision was supposed to have been made in December, but it's still up in the air while privacy issues are being worked out. This is our opportunity to lose. Republican State Representative Tom Foris of Chandler has been working to make Arizona home to one of six national test sites for drones. We're talking about billions of dollars from the private sector that will follow an opportunity like this. The state is already home to several drones patrolling the Arizona-Mexico border. We're going to continue to supply air power there, unarmed. I want to be careful to say. Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano told me in Washington last month that drones would play an even larger role in border security. That air coverage actually, uh, from a enforcement perspective, is one of the great improvements we've had over the last couple of years. On the ground, the Army's Fort Huachuca has trained more than 10,000 drone operators. ASU and U of A have drone-related programs and several military contractors also have a stake in the drone. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Prescott could expand its training of drone operators. For our students, it brings up a variety of areas and also an exponential opportunities are out there. With salaries that top six figures, but there are questions about exactly what the drones are doing up there. Having an unmanned aircraft up in the sky with a camera poses a significant uh, privacy and security issue to our citizens. <laughs> Arizona Republican Congressman David Schweikert is working on a bill in Congress to deal with those privacy concerns. His press secretary says Schweikert wants to increase transparency and accountability of UAS use while assuring that our Fourth Amendment rights are protected. It's Arizona's opportunity right now to not only bring an in investment in jobs, but to be part of securing our country as well. While Congress comes up with its own privacy bill, the legislature is also expected to discuss how to protect us from a drone's prying eyes. In the newsroom, Bram Resnick, 12 News.